Alrighty, so we're back again. And um, I am so happy to be over this process. This was a ridiculous amount of work. So basically what we've done is we've taken three to four weeks worth of work and condensed it into 20 minutes, okay? And so what you're about to see is the highlight reel, really the highlight reel at rapid speed. Uh, just showing what we did. So I hope you enjoy. Taking this, this solid piece of cardboard and I'm giving it a shape inwards. Then over here, it goes there, so I'm giving it that shape. I cut the top of it, bend it down for this. And then, so everywhere, and you try and get the cardboard as close as possible. And then once you've got it as close as possible, then we use masking tape. And we get the masking tape to finish off the gap between the cardboard and the actual plug. As close as possible. You see there. So like for instance, if there's a gap here, which we're going to try and close off. But that little gap there, we're going to try and close off with masking tape. Like layers of, of masking tape first, like such. You see there. guys so now all the tape is done the edges are filled up so this will be the split line now
Okay, so it's a chilly early morning and um, this is now set for just over 24 hours. Um, okay, so let's run through it. We've got an upper section for the front mold of the nose and then we've got our lower section. Then we've got an upper which makes up three quarters of the tub mold um, and then we've got the lower. And the reason for that split line was it's going to be far easier to do a bulk lay up in that. Um, fabric width also allows us to do um, one piece instead of trying to overlay sections. Then we've got the rear section and again the other section. So basically for the for the for the tub uh, section we've got one, two, three, four, okay. And then we're gonna make this front mold now uh, this section. So it'll be a you know five and six split because remember the nose cone is coming off so that's what it looks like um yeah we're gonna try and demold it and see what happens uh, wish us luck okay so we're gonna use these wedges and then we're just gonna get into the gaps there and if everything works according to plan and the release agent has worked, then we'll be able to pop this off quite quickly. So let's see what happens. Alright, so there's the back section, and let's have a quick look here. Oh, look how easy that just came apart. So there's our split mold for the rear, and you can see I've given it the step in there. It's just a uh, Bit of dust that's all nothing major okay let's see if we get the main piece off now Okay, moment for moment of truth. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful piece. Came out spectacularly well. Very happy with that. So far tub plug has remained in one piece. So there's no issues there. So that's great news. But now the difficult part, which was always going to be the difficult part, is to demold the top section of the tub.
Okay, let's go check. There we go. Oh my gosh! Go jump inside, go sit inside of it. Which one? The uh, bottom section, the big, big section, yeah. Yeah. So. Well, that's the free. <laughs> okay, move back, sit back. <laughs> okay, well, there, 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 right there, that's where you'll sit. Like this? Yeah. Why can't you can't touch there? <laughs> well, remember, you'll be lying down with uh, padding and everything. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I like that. How does that feel? Do you have enough space? Do you have. It feels like I'm in a slide. Do you have enough space? Do you think you're going to fit? Yeah, I think you fit. You're going to be able to race this thing? Mm -hmm. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>